I want to show you how to envision why it is that when you multiply two negatives together you end up with a positive number. Uh, let's start off by looking at two positive numbers multiplied together. Three times two means two groups of three. We put that on the number line, start at zero, you get six. What happens when you introduce a negative number is what that negative number is asking you to do is reflect your quantity over the, the zero line, the reflection line, the origin. So you still look at 3 times 2 is 6, but when you see the negative, you want to reflect across that origin line. Okay, but what if you've got negative 3 times negative 2? Same thing. Start off looking at 3 times 2, which is 6. Because you've got the negative, you want to reflect across the origin. But look, you've got a second negative, so you need to reflect again. And that ends you back at the 6. So that's how to envision why when you multiply two negative numbers together, you end up back in the positive area.